Well, hello, church family. It is so good to be with you today. I'm sitting in my office and really reflecting on the last few weeks as we have been, well, I guess it's probably months, as we have been in Romans chapter 8, our identity in Christ. It has been one of the most transformative things for me as your pastor to study, to look into God's Word, and to realize this, that I am much more than what meets the eye. I am more than uh, Ray McKelvey, the husband, father, pastor. I am in Christ, and you are in Christ if you have believed in Him. And so I want to encourage you, stay in the book of Romans, chapter 8. Continue to memorize. I know we've only gone to chap, uh, verses 4 or 5, but I want you to move on down to possibly verse 10. And those of you who already have the chapter memorized, we're not talking to you right now. So we want to encourage you to get into it. In the mornings, when you wake up, I want you to think about who you are in Christ, that you are forgiven that you are loved with an everlasting love. You are someone who have been redeemed and purchased by Christ. You are valuable. And as I've said on Sundays, this is not some uh, new age, lightweight uh, affirmations that you say to yourself every day. This is reality. This is who you are in Christ. And so I just wanted to give you this short video to remind you to put your hope, your trust, your faith, and really your entire identity in Christ. You are complete in Him. It's not something you work for. It's not something you have to do. It is who you are in Christ. So when you wake up in the morning, when you're going through your day, when you end your day, remember who you are in Christ. Well, church family, have a great week, and I look forward to getting even deeper into the chapter 8 of Romans.